Hello, I like to show you my Turkish gold coins and silver coins. Um, I mix them uh, both the, the Ottoman and uh, Turkish Republic coins because uh, uh, I think uh, uh, it makes no sense to split them. So I will try to show you in a chronological order and um, um, I will mix, therefore I will mix silver with gold. Now, the oldest Turkish coin I have, it's uh, a coin of two Zorota, this one, and I try to, to focus on, on it. Um, it was struck in, if you um, look here, it says 1110, which is the Islamic year that correspond to the, corresponds to the Christian, Christian year uh, 1704. It was struck during Ahmed III, Yuchunju Ahmed, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. And if you look at the back of the coin, I have to turn it 90 degrees. Um, this is uh, one, uh, one extremely fine um, piece that I have, but you see that they used to try to uh, polish the coin on the edges just to, to steal some silver out of it, although it, I think it is struck in 465. So 465 uh, purity silver. So this is two Zorota uh, struck in 1110, that is 1704 during Ahmed III, which the Turkish people used to call it in, in native language Üçüncü Ahmed. Now, moving on. That's from the 19th century. The rest of the coins are uh, from 19 and 20, 19 and 20 century. This is a gold coin of uh, 100 kurush. And if we zoom in, you may see that this was struck in. So, first of all, how we compute the date of a uh, Ottoman coin you need to go on the back of the coin and check what was the year when the Sultan came into power. And if we look here, we, said, we say that it's 1255. So, on 1255, Abdul Majid I, that is in native Turkish language, Birinji Abdul Majid, uh, came into power as Sultan. This uh, is, was struck in uh, Constantinople, uh, modern Istanbul. And you need to first to uh, check what was the year when the Sultan came into power, and then look on, on the front of the coin, where the seal of the Sultan uh, is depicted. <coughs> Sorry. And you, you should look for a number that says what is the ear of the Sultan and in here you may see it is 17. So you need to add to 1255 17 and that will uh, uh, give you the Islamic ear of the coin and of course you need to add depending, depending on the half of the century what uh, it's the Hijra ear. So basically if we compute the sum for this coin you will end up with 1855. So this is the year when the coin was struck. It weighs 7.216 uh, gold of 22 karat. That is uh, the purity of the, the usually the purity of the uh, Turkish lira because this was called uh, 100 kurush but was uh, later known as one Turkish lira. Okay, so that's uh, a coin during from from year 
1855 uh, during the Sultan Abdul Majid I. Now, I have another piece of 100 Kurush gold that was struck just one year after the previous one, that is 18 on the front, the same year because we are talking about the same Sultan, uh, 1255 on the back. It was also struck in Constantinople, uh, that is Istanbul, and it was struck during the Sultan Abdul Majid I. Now, if we move on, I have here a 20 Kurush silver coin, that's a large one, uh, which was, if we look uh, in here, it was uh, uh, the, the Sultan came into power in 1293. So we are talking about, about Abdul Hamid II, that is Ikinji Abdul Hamid. And if we add to uh, 12 93 the the ear on the front which if we zoom in it's two we end up with a christian ear equals to 1877 so this is quite nice uh, to have a coin from that year because uh, i'm living in bucharest romania although i have hungarian roots and uh, uh, this year is the year when, when Romania declared its independence. So they fought against the Turkish, uh, the, the, against the Ottoman Empire, together with the Russian army. I think it was uh, uh, the first and the last one, the last time when uh, uh, Russians actually uh, helped us. But this is another story. So it's nice to have a coin that was struck in that year um, in the... Uh, in the opposite side. I also have some Turkish roots, so uh, it's not uh, that I don't appreciate the coin as being from the Ottoman, Ottoman Empire and not just the year when Romania became independent. Now, if we move on, I have here a coin of five, uh, five Kurush five Kurush silver coin that was struck um, by the government of the same Sultan that came into power into uh, 1293. So we are talking about, about Abdul Hamid II, Ikinji Abdul Hamid. And this time we are talking about year 33 which is the equivalent if we add uh, 1293 uh, by uh, 33 we end up with the Christian year 1906. Move on, let's move on to the next one which is also a 5 Kurush silver coin uh, struck, let me look at the back of the coin so uh, we are talking about the Sultan that came into power in the year 1327 and this one was called Mehmet V or uh, as it is known in the history Reshat. Mehmet, Mehmet V, the Turkish uh, called them Reshat or Beşinci Mehmet. So this one was struck in the first year when the Sultan came into power, which is 1909. It is also a silver coin of five, of five Kurush. Now, let's move on. This is a 100 Kurush gold coin, also struck in 22 karat gold. Uh, if we look at the back, just to check what was the, the Sultan, uh, it is also from uh, 1327. That it's uh, Mehmed V, Reshad, Beshinji Mehmed. And if we add uh, 1327 by 3, we end up with the year 1912. So this is a gold coin uh, during the time of uh, Sultan Mehmed V, as it is called Reshad. Now, another 
gold coin I have. In total I have uh, like uh, six gold coins from Turkey and six silver coins. Uh, and this one it's uh, 100 kurush gold. Yeah, and uh, uh, if we look at the back, we are talking about the same Sultan came into power in year 1327, that is Mehmed V, Reshat, uh, Mehmed. But the year this time, if we look in here, we see that the year it's 6. So if we add those numbers, the Christian year when the coin was struck, it is 1915. Let's move on. This is the last coin from the Ottoman Empire I have. That was struck, it is a 20, a 20 Kurush silver coin. It was struck during Mehmed V. That came into power in year 1327. But this time it was struck in the... Let me try to zoom because I don't know for uh, by heart. It uh, In the 8th. 8th year of the Sultan, that is 1916, if we sum up all those numbers and uh, uh, compute the, the equivalent Christian year for the Islamic year. From now on we are talking about coins from the Turkish Republic, and unfortunately they are very rare, uh, they, are, they were minted in scarce numbers, uh, so I only have uh, one old Turkish Republic coin of one lira, one Turkish lira, and this one was struck. Uh, you may now you may read uh, it is uh, with uh, Latin characters. So the year is the one that is written here, 1947, and this one was. Uh, during uh, it was struck just by the end of the Second World War, but it was struck in uh, less pure less pure silver. Like uh, I think it is dot uh, six hundred forty. The purity of the coin. Now I also have some collectible coins that I mainly use as gift for weddings and. Uh, Baptize, baptize. So they are not actually, uh, they are uncirculated coins and in uncirculated conditions, as, as you may see. Uh, this one is also a 100 Kurush gold coin uh, that was struck and they were, they kept the same uh, way of computing the date of the coin, the year of the coin. So basically, the year when uh, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Uh, came into power, it's 19, 1923, and uh, this coin was struck in the year 1934, it was actually struck after the death of uh, uh, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, so it was struck in 1977, uh, sorry, 1957, you just need to add those numbers, so 1957. It is at the same purity, 22 karat gold, as uh, the uh, 100 Kurush gold coins that were struck during the Ottoman Empire. Um, but this time on the back of the coin you may see uh, the face of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. So that is um, Cumhuriyet Altun. It is, they used to call, they call this coin Tam Tam Cumhuriyet Altını, that is a full Republic gold coin. So this is, although you may see some scratches on the face of the coin, uh, this kind of zoom uh, in uh, with uh, the naked eye you won't see it, so it's really in uncirculated conditions. Even the surface of the coin, it is really well preserved. I also have um, a jewelry 100 Kurush gold coin. Uh, they call this uh, Tam Zinet Altunu, that is uh, full uh, jewelry coin. Uh, it is also, they also name this 
the value of the coin to be 100 kurush or 1 Turkish lira but of course the value of the content of gold in the coin it is more than uh, not just 1 lira but uh, usually you may buy this uh, by uh, you, sh you may pay uh, around uh, uh, 500 bucks for such coin in these conditions so this is uh, they used to to make jewelry out of this like to wear this on a neck on a nickel uh, on a necklace I mean uh, around your head uh, and this coin it is uh, if we look closely with the zoom it was minted in 1971 and uh, it is really a nice design uh, there were coins like this Tamsinet Altunu also struck by the Ottoman Empire but they are very rare uh, most of them were melted melted down because uh, um, at some point the, the gold was uh, very rare and uh, it was the the demand for gold to make jewelry was uh, huge so they they had to melt this but indeed uh, the pieces that got preserved to that to these times uh, are really really expensive so uh, uh, I'm although I'm collecting gold for its value I also collect collect gold coins for uh, uh, for the coin itself but I I prefer not to invest too much in the value of the coin the historical value of the coin the uh, let's say uh, the value of the coin being rare because they are not very liquid so it's not very it's, it is not very easy to sell them at the good price at a good price if you need money basically uh, as you know investing in gold it is not something that you expect to get a return out of it quickly but it's something that you do for a, a long time so on a long on a long term you invest a part of your savings in, in gold just to be able to keep the value of your investment of your uh, liquidities and um, ha hope that after 10 or 20 years you will get uh, the, the right price or even better for what you paid so that means that you will keep the value of your savings uh, safe from inflation anyway um, those are the only uh, coins I have from Ottoman Empire and uh, Turkey uh, I do have some other coins that were struck by uh, the Ottoman Empire in Egypt for instance but I will show them them in a later vid video where I will talk about uh, my uh, Egyptian coins so thanks for watching bye bye